thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to look at trigonometry. In number nine, solve for alpha in the equation three, the cosine of five alpha degrees equals to negative three root two out of two, where alpha is ranging between zero and 100 degrees. Remember to subscribe to this channel and to also share the link with friends. So we're going to start by dividing through by three so that we get the cosine of five alpha equals two. When we divide through by three, uh, the value of three here disappears and we get negative the root of two divided by two. Yes, so that for us to get the value of five alpha, I will even start by getting the acute angle which will represent this value. Therefore, I will go to the cos inverse of the root of two divided by two. And this is going to give us, so I'm going to take the cosine inverse, shift cosine of the root of two divided by two. This is giving us exactly 45 degrees. 45 degrees. But now our interest is not on this acute angle. The value of 5 alpha is going to be this acute angle in the quadrants where cosines are negative because of this sign. Because of the sign there, we need the value of this acute angle in the quadrants where cosines are negative. Therefore, 5 alpha will be given by, these are the quadrants. We know very well that in this quadrant, all the quadratic or all the trigonometric ratios are positive. Then we have the sines, the tangents, and the cosines only in this one. Therefore, we need the quadrants where cosines are negative and it is in the second quadrant and also in the third quadrant. In the first quadrant, we don't need a 45 there because their trigonometric ratios are positive. In the third quadrant, we are not interested because cosines there are positive. So we need a 45 in the second quadrant and also in the third quadrant. So a 45 in the second quadrant is equal to 180 minus 45, giving us 135. And the next angle is 180 plus 45, giving us 125. And that is 225, sorry. In the, so 45 in the first, in the second quadrant is 135. 45 in the third quadrant is equivalent to 225. So there are also other equivalent angles to this. If we make a complete cycle, we are going to get an angle which is equivalent to when we take 135 and we add 360. 135 plus 360, this is 495. 495. And when we also take 225 and we add 360, we're going to get 585 degrees such that the, all the quadratic, not quadratic, but trigonometric ratios of 495 are the same as those of 135. All the trigonometric ratios of 585 are the same as those of 225. Therefore, all these angles now are suitable for 5 alpha. So to get the value of alpha, now we need to divide it through by 5, such that 135 divided by 5 gives us 
27 degrees. 2 to 5 divided by 5 gives us 45. 495 out of 5 gives us exactly 99. Then when we take 585 out of 5, we are getting 117. And this will be beyond the range. Therefore, the three angles now are the most suitable or the only suitable for the above equation.